here. Um, it's been a while. Um, I am in a place where I have a lot to say, but I'm not going to say it all. Um, there's a lot going on in the world, as usual. Um, lots of death and suffering, social issues, health issues, economic issues, you know, all these things that are happening to everyone, not just, you know, some people. Um, and I'm no exception to that. But this is where I count my blessings. And so today, I want to um, talk about family. I am actually recording this video on September 21st, 2021. It is my grandmother's birthday. Um, hopefully, I will get this posted today. So, happy birthday, Mima. That's right. I'm a Southern girl, and I love my Mima. Um, we have recently um, had a death in the family, and um, that's been, you know, just whether you're really close to someone or not, if they're family, they're family. Um, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that, but um, I feel like we're at a place where a lot of people in the world are focusing on themselves so much to the point that we've lost some basic human empathy. Um, if it's not you or if it's not your family, it doesn't count, you know, and um, I really would like to get back to a place where when someone says something like, oh, I had a death in the family, other people are like, yeah, um, sorry for your loss and actually mean it and take the time that you need and actually mean it and things like that. I, I feel like now we're just at a point where if you say, oh, I had a death in the family, people are like, okay. You know, <laughs> so I am um, just counting my blessings today because I, I feel like I have been blessed with a very wonderful family, a family that I was born into and a family that I married into. Um, I think a lot of times people struggle with family because they expect it to be perfect. Maybe not like perfect, perfect, but like they look at families that they think are good examples of families on TV and expire to be like that. And that's just not what family is. Um, I'm not going to pretend like my family is perfect, but I do think that my family has um, been able to stick together, even when we're apart, even when we, when we haven't spoken for a long time, um, when we do get together, um, it's like no time has passed. We get caught up on things very quickly and, and we're family, whether we are getting along at that moment or not. <laughs> um, I know um, my immediate family is a very, it's a comfort to me um, in times where I'm going through and it, I've been going through a lot lately. Um, and as much as I've been going through, there are people who are going through way more than I am. So um, I just want to highlight just a few family members real quick. I'm not going to make this too long, but um, my husband is a very patient and loving man, and I'm so blessed um, to be his wife and um, glad that God put us together. I uh, recently had to face some of my fears and anxiety to um, go out to an event with him because um, he's a very outgoing person. He likes to do things with the crowd, and I don't. And he usually has to find someone else to do things with. But I decided I was going to do this, and it was fine. Um, there were a couple of moments where he's like, if you want to leave, we can leave. And I'm like, no, we're going to do this. And so I'm just so grateful for him. My um, my sister is just an amazing woman, and... Um, we have our moments, you know, um, we don't agree all the time, but again, that's not what family is about. Family is not about agreeing all the time. Um, and anything that we do disagree on is trivial in the long run. You know, <laughs> um, she's my sister and she's amazing and I am very much inspired by her to be a better person. Um, my mother and father, they are crazy in their old age, but I love them. <laughs> I don't remember them being this crazy growing up, but um, I'm sure I'm getting crazy as I get older, too. I mean, everybody's crazy in their own way. 
Um, but they um, are very supportive, not only to their family, but to everyone else. They're they're always willing to help someone out, and um, they also make me want to be a better person. All of my nieces and nephews, I have four nephews, two nieces, and um, they're all at like critical um, moments in their lives of life development. Um, all of my nephews are technically adults now. The two youngest are just starting college, and you know, so they're all you know exploring their themselves and their education and everything. My older nephews are are they're in school and working and you know finding their places in the world. Um, my nieces are a little bit different. I have one who's an adult in college and another who's entering her teen years, and um, both so precious. And I don't have children of my own, and that was a conscious decision. It's not a regret. God knew me. <laughs> but um, when it comes to that, um, I think of my nieces and my nephews, you know, and um, my in-laws who live far away, but we still are very, you know, I feel like we're still very close to them. My husband is on the phone with them all the time, and we visit whenever we can. I have family in Texas where my grandmother lives cousins and things that we try to keep in touch with. I'm 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 not great at keeping in touch with people, but that's why we have things like Facebook and stuff like that. But um again, like I said, it's not always about necessarily being, you know, active in that person's life. Of course, I think everyone should try a little bit harder. I should try a little bit harder. But when I do, you know, hear something about my family, I don't brush it off because that's my family. So anyway, <laughs> um I have other family, um, just um, biological family members and adopted family members and step family members and in-laws and, you know, this this whole idea of family, I don't think it's something that we focus enough on anymore. Everything is very much the individual, the individual, the individual. And um, I remember there for a while, I think it was like in the 90s, there was this whole idea of the community and the village and stuff like that, which are, these are not bad ideas. But I think before we can get to the community and the village, we have to start with family. And so anyway, I am counting my blessings today because I have seen other families that are not <laughs> supportive or together or, you know, anything resembling that. And I am just so blessed. So that is me counting my blessings, not dragging this out any further. Happy birthday, Mima. Everyone, please stay safe and be blessed.